Jr. I'm your host, Tate Frazier, and we are still here with Cousin Sal. And Sal, we got some fun games and some fun track to the futures to, to work with this week. We're going to start with our first line look ahead here, and we're going to look at Thursday night football. We're still feeling okay with Thursday night football, right? Generally speaking, uh, I know I've been talking down on it, but got a little bit better last Thursday. It feels like it's trending in the right direction, right? Do we feel better about it? Yeah, now it's going to trend in a whole other dire- <laughs> the direction you were talking about right. earlier. Yeah, well, which is not so good. Well, the reason why is that the Jets are playing yet again uh, in a standalone game, so we get to watch them yet again. Uh, yes. The Houston Texans taking on the Jets. Jets minus one and a half in this one. The total at forty two and a half. So Vegas, they just can't quit the Jets. Sal, what about you? Who do you like in this game? Well, first of all, it's on Halloween, right? Mm-hmm. So um, I, I think Spooky. the holidays should take a page out of MLB's book and try to avoid NFL games as bad as the Jets are and as much as little as we want to see them, right? They should they should run away from it. But this is actually good in a way because Aaron Rodgers likes to give away ayahuasca flavored apple slices so that's good that he won't be home to do that for kids but i tate i i I don't know i went on guess the lines i thought the texans would be a three-point favorite the jets were a one and a half point favorite it flipped by the time we did guess the lines to the texans being one and a half point favorite and now people are betting the jets this (laughs) is the the raddest of ratty lines i've seen in a while a two and six team hosting a six and two team the Jets 0 and 5 against the spread in the last five and two and six against the spread in their last eight at home. A rat line if I ever saw it take. And it does feel like the Jets, we've been waiting for this moral victory game where, you know, Devontae Adams scores a touchdown and Aaron Rodgers has his I told you so kind of moment, right? And it didn't happen in the past two games. So right. maybe it feels like third time's the charm. Maybe it's that they're due in this game. Maybe that's the calculus behind the scenes. But yeah, it's a very ratty line, very confusing line, and no digs for the Texans. Maybe that's factored into it a little bit too. They're going to be a little bit different without the weapons uh, that Stroud has been able to play with so far this season. But there are some prop bets that you like in this game. Uh, What do you like, Sal? Yeah, so no dig. So you might think this is dumb because he has to throw the ball somewhere, Mm -hmm. CJ Stroud. I'm going to go Tank Dell under 50 and a half 58 and a half receiving yards. He is uh, take one of the more frustrating fantasy players. Somehow he's on like three of my leagues. Uh, he I benched him last week when he actually scored, but I'm going to go under 58 and a half. I know they're shorthanded. No Collins, no digs, but tanks gone under this number in eight of his last nine games. He's averaged 31 receiving yards. Even with the touchdown last week, didn't pull in a lot. He had 35. He's got other receivers. They throw to Mechie. They throw the woods. I like it under here. 58 and a half. For Tank Dell. Yeah, I feel like the tank is doing a lot of work for Tank Dell. Uh, it sounds yeah. good, it's provocative, but the results aren't always there. And uh, <laughs> if his name was Tate Dell, I don't think he would be getting the same fantasy Ooh, love sound, is what I would you say. Try it. I got a TNF prop for you. I like Aaron Rodgers rushing touchdown, uh, plus 1,300. Hasn't done it in a couple of seasons. Obviously, didn't play much last year, uh, but he has had some rushing touchdowns in his career. And I do feel like this is his momentum play where he's like, wow. just line him up, QB snap. Sneak, Burt Reynolds in longest yard. He comes off and says, I'm going to go get us the touchdown, boys. If you guys don't want to block from me, I'm going to go get it myself. So uh, plus 1,300. Let's take a big swing for Aaron Rodgers All right, well, on Halloween. That. Yeah, very yeah, good. A lot of luck. Uh, <laughs> I wish you luck. for that. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking now with this Tank Dell thing, you're right. If he was – you said Tate Dell. If Tank Dell was Hank Dell, yeah, which sounds more like an insurance salesman mm-hmm. in Des Moines, I don't know if he's drafted as high as he is. Right. But anyway, we can move on. Yeah, yeah. Hank Dell would be like a writer on The Simpsons. Uh, he would Hank not Dell, be. Hank Dell, nice yeah. to see you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a guy you see at your 20-year reunion. You're like, all right, I'm going to go on the other side. Oh, that's right. I love Hank Dell. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> uh, 